welcome back to my channel. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin' 10? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Breelan. I am a soon-to-be Master of Physiology and an aspiring OBGYN with an interest in bridging the gap of medical knowledge between health professionals and regular women like myself with the goal of improving their health and their well-being. I know it's been a minute since I've done a health education or feminine hygiene video, but I definitely wanna start doing them more on my channel. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below so that I can get to them in my next video. Today, I wanted to get back into it and answer one of your top questions that every woman has, don't lie, don't lie. We're gonna keep it real over here that every woman has how to keep your kitty smelling fresh the right way. So if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell that way you don't miss a notification from me and follow me on my social media at Breland Barbie. And let's get into the video. So one of the most common reasons why you can be dealing with vaginal odor is simply because your vagina is too alkaline. Alkaline environments are the perfect place for bacteria to overgrow and to flourish. This is what causes the issues of smell and itchiness and dryness. And if it gets really bad, that's when you can deal with yeast infections or bacterial vaginosis. So my first tip for combating in your vaginal area is boric acid. Aha, I gotcha. <laughs> a lot of you guys probably haven't heard of that before. Some of you may have in other ways, but let me tell you guys, boric acid is the best way. It's a very natural way for you to basically reset your body and get it back on the pH balance that it should be in in order for it to work properly. Actually, there's this great brand called Nutriblast and they sell these kits that have suppository minerals that you can insert inside of you in order to help balance your vagina's pH. This is the main product here called Boric Life. And again, these are boric acid vaginal suppositories and they're made with the highest quality of pharmaceutical grade boric acid powder and a placented capsule. Now, when I first heard about this, I was thinking to myself like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't know about all of that. But when I tell you guys that they have amazing reviews on Amazon, that's what really sold me. I don't know about you guys, but I've been watching all of those people showing and reviewing their favorite products from Amazon. And since then, I really trust the reviews on Amazon. Like, these are real people who are trying out real things, which is why I really like this product because it's coupled to things that I know and love. Trusting other people to recommend me to a brand as well as my knowledge on boric acid. Again, boric acid is really good with treating odor, dryness, itchiness, smelliness. <laughs> yeast and bacteria vaginosis, especially if it's reoccurring. That's why I feel like this product is really good because it'll help you balance your pH without having to go to the doctor. And it's actually really simple and easy to use. So first you'll use these feminine pH strips in order to test your pH. Again, this comes in the kit. Normally your pH should be around a three and there are over 100 strips in here. So if you're ever feeling a little bit funny and you wanna test it out, you can definitely use these to make sure. Next up, you will insert one of these capsules with the suppository applicators. And again, this is really nice because everything comes together. So it's great that they supply you with suppository applicators. There are 15 in this package and they all come individually wrapped up as well. So that's really nice. So use these applicators to insert the capsules for up to seven days and then you'll definitely see an improvement in your pH, which again, you can check afterward using the pH strips. I recommend you do it at nighttime and then you wear a panty liner in order to catch any of the leakage that may occur. And also, I still believe that you should still go to the doctor, but if it's something that you know that you deal with often, this is definitely something that's really nice to keep on hand. It can be delivered to you and you can take care of the situation yourself. However, if you are sexually active, especially if you are having sex unprotected, if you feel in any type of itching or burning or anything going on down there, honey, go to the doctor, okay? <laughs> so if you guys are interested in this, I wanna thank Nutriblast so much for working with me on this video. I will have a link, the first link in the description box down below will be to try this out, and it'll also be a coupon code for 20% off. So go ahead, click the link, and get your pH balance in check and your vaginal health up to speed. Okay, the next step that I have is actually really simple, like let's keep it simple, stupid, drink water. Okay, all of that like sugary stuff, it kind of goes into two and three. You have to pay attention to what you are putting in your body. If you are eating Eating a lot of sugary and salty foods that is gonna come out through <laughs> through the health of your vagina so of course like people always say make sure you're eating fruits and things like that but again choosing water over soda sometimes can really be an important decision to make when it comes to your vaginal health and if you're the kind of person where you can't stand to drink water first of all grow up okay <laughs> or grown if you want everything to be okay down there you have to drink water but you can also try to squeeze some lemon juice or just add whole lemons in your water as well because the acidity of the lemon will also help to balance out the ph of your vaginal area my next tip is to make sure you're wearing the right under
their garments. I did a whole video on this. If you guys want to see it, I'll leave it linked in the cards up above. But basically, don't wear anything too tight. Make sure that everything that you wear is breathable. And going into my second tip, make sure that you're being very hygienic with your undergarments. You should be throwing away and replenishing your undergarments pretty frequently. But again, if you want to know all the details on that, check out my previous video. Touch on that as well as everything that you need to know about purchasing and detergents in that video. And lastly, something that I feel like is super key is making sure that you're preventing that area being moist when it's not supposed to be, okay? Again, you have to think about why all of these negative symptoms happen. You're experiencing the odor, the itchiness, or the dryness because you have bacteria in that region. Bacteria loves when it's hot, it loves when it's acid, and it loves when it's moist, okay? That's just like, the bacteria is just in there like, mmm, I love it here, and it doesn't wanna leave. So if you wanna get rid of the bacteria, you have to get rid of all of those factors. So again, making sure that your pH is straight, making sure it's not too hot down there, and then lastly, making sure it's not too moist. Make sure you change your undergarment after you leave the gym if you ever have a little bit of an accident don't just sit in that underwear that is literally the biggest no-no that you can do I don't know why you would but hopefully you wouldn't do that of course there's nothing wrong with a normal amount of discharge and every woman is different so everybody's normal is different so if you're wondering if you're too moist I definitely suggest that you go and you visit your doctor about defining your own norm those are all of my tips that I have about keeping your kitty smelling fresh remember it's all about keeping bacteria away that means keeping the pH balanced keeping it breathable and keeping it dry if you guys want more tips again make sure you are subscribed to my channel and then comment down below any videos that you want to see thank you again to Nutriblast for sponsoring this video make sure you guys check out the first link in the description box down below to check them out and make sure you live each day to the fullest because you only live once and I'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye oh.